fried pickles, a Walt Twins favorite appetizer in any dining establishment. We felt it was high time we bring our favorite appetizer and try it on the Blackstone. If you want to see our take on fried pickles, then stick around while we dig, dig in. in. I can't believe the Walt Twins. They're right there. That's one of them. That's the other one. I'm the other one. Hey, welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the, the Walt Twins. Twins. If this is your first time here with us, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we do. I don't know why I felt high to look at you. This way and then back at them and then back at you and then hey, back at the them. And by the way, they miss everything we do except for cooking. <laughs> I always say everything and Brett points out that's like really all we do lately is cooking. So he's got a point. So, so. yeah, technically you miss everything that we do except for cooking. Except for cooking. <laughs> but guess what? That's all the fun that we have. He's boring otherwise. <laughs> very, I'm very dull. Speaking of dull, let's talk about the deal. Okay. Pickles, we're going to use <laughs> Yes, it. fried pickles. Uh, favorite whenever we see it on oh, uh, man. A, a menu, menu at a restaurant. This is definitely going down for an appetizer. We always get the fried pickles. Uh, my oh, daughters nice. love them. We love them. And uh, so we figured, you know what? Let's get them on the Blackstone and show our friends how we do it. And so to do that, we want to talk about the groceries. Brett, tell us what we're doing up in here. Jump right in. We are using these Mount Olive hamburger dill pickles, my favorite for this dish. We are going to be dredging them in flour and buttermilk, and we're gonna use the usual suspects and a teaspoon of paprika for our seasonings, and we'll be dipping them in ranch, and we'll be cooking them here in the vegetable oil. And that's right, and we do use the Hidden Valley Ranch packets. We love that, that the powder. Yes. To us, it's just about as good as restaurant quality ranch, and we absolutely love it. So real quick, I wanna let you know, the first pro first step of this whole process for us was to actually drain and dry out the pickles. Yep. So first thing we did is we drained these. So I drained all the juice out of this, which was sad because there's so much flavor. I love pickle juice. Going down the drain right there, but that's okay. Then we rinse these with cold water just to kind of set. Then we laid them out on this paper towel. The purpose is we wanted to pat these dry, get them dry so that they will stick a little bit better to the flour. And then when we when we really throw them on, it'll enhance the flavor afterwards. That's what we're going for. So that's the process that we use. But Brett is gonna go ahead and toss the dredge, just like we always do. He dredges, I flip them. And the best part about this is we're not waiting for anything to cook through. Once these are done, yeah, once, once these are brown on either side, we're pulling them because the pickles are cooked. The <laughs> pickles are cooked already. So we're gonna go through this process. It is a favorite of ours and we can't wait to share it with you. Something we think you should try as well. But we're gonna suit up and knock this out. Let's do it. All right, so starting off, we have a teaspoon of our usual suspects. I'm mixture. sorry, a teaspoon? Tablespoon. That's what I, I Tablespoon and then a teaspoon of pap. The paprika, gonna mix it in here. Now, I wanted to use Lowry's for this because I just love Lowry's, but we already knew with the usual suspects, we were coming in with a lot of sodium, so we thought, you know, a little paprika for some kick and some re really just color color yeah. than anything. While Brett's doing that, I will throw this out there. I do have the griddle on medium low. We are doing on the far left side. This is where my oil pulls just a little bit. So that is hot right now. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and throw the oil on right now. So I'm gonna toss the oil here. And this is gonna kind of pull, it's, it'll start pulling up and pushing off just a little bit. As you can go, it slowly goes, but it, I'll stay mainly in this area and I'll pull it down. We've learned with these shallow fries that once the oil is really hot, and actually once the griddle's hot, it doesn't take much. It's not no. like it needs to sit in the oil. We don't do these all at one time. We do it in batches anyway. Correct. All right, so while we're waiting for that oil to heat up, I'm gonna start dredging these uh, pickles. We're gonna start by putting it in the flour and then in the buttermilk. Now, normally we, we have to get these pulled over really quick because sometimes that dredge will pull off. The weather is good, it's not hot and humid. So Brett's just gonna lay the pickles down. And then once we've got those piled up, we'll start throwing them on to cook. Yep. All right, so there are our uh, pickles. Now we realize we used a very small bowl for the dredge. Next time we're gonna use a big bowl, do multiple at a time. This is at least enough to show for the video, exactly. the process. So we are going to use this bottom corner. Like I said, let me pull the oil back over here. Here we go. And Brett's just gonna to toss them on and then, pull, and then as soon as they're ready, we're gonna pull them off and put them on our paper towels. Not You're only gonna go to maybe go. a couple minutes per side, if that. If that, I'm thinking one to two minutes total time.
that, my brother. This one, some of that breading came off and I felt it come off early, but still will be good. All right, kill the heat. We know better and I knew we wanted a bigger dredge, but you know what we thought? Let's at least get these done, show the people how they're done. And by the way, this is this is not gonna be enough. This no, is not No, no, no. We'll enough. make we'll make the rest. We're literally gonna leave we're, we just turned the griddle off, we're gonna get it right back on right after the shoot, and we're gonna get them off for the rest of the family because we still got a ton of pickles left and the, the family's gonna be dying over. But this we have though. at least an order that you'd get at a restaurant for an appetizer. Oh man, and I'm so excited. Cooking these, the, the smell of them, and then the look at these, I mean that was just perfect. I'm so excited about that. But Brett, so, yep. we could get sit here and talk about it. So let's Stop. keep talking about it. No, These, let's not. All right, they can look amazing. They look, they, fried pickles. Exactly right. They can smell amazing. Fried pickles. Dude. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they are hot. But if these don't taste amazing, then this was all, all for not. not. Cheers, I'll eat to that. My no, I, I, I'm oh. going naked. Put that down. Put that down right now, son. There you go. Cheers, cheers, I'll eat, I'll eat to, to that, that, my brother. Mmm. Wow. Yeah. Well, I don't need to go get these in a the restaurant dredge. anymore. The dredge. The dredge. Mmm. That seasoning. Perfect. Mmm. Pickle already has that vinegar, salt flavor. Mm -hmm. So just a little teaspoon, a tablespoon of the usual suspects, a little yep. bit of paprika was perfect, was spot on. Yes. And dredging, make sure you get that perfect and even amount, an even coating, and drying the pickles was good. Brett was worried it was gonna pull the flavor. What do you think now? I don't think that anymore. Would you change anything about that then? No. Perfect. That's Nothing. what I was hoping. The crunchiness of the of the fry, it's so satisfying. It's there. <laughs> I just want to keep eating those. Dude. So I will. And then send this guy <laughs> off for some errands and I'm gonna eat the rest. But like I said, we gotta toss these on for the family. We're gonna get up out of here and, and go take care of that because that is so good. Couple things we did not mention. We do now have Wall Twins merch store. Merch. If you check in the description below. The link is down there to our merchandise store. We can get aprons, you can get shirts. We have the shirts underneath. We thought we'll wear them was like, that's the same. But we've got this, we've got our Grill Me This, this shirt. Fat, fat Man. Fat Man shirt, which we absolutely love. Check it out, it's in the description below. Also, one thing we love, we're, we're partnered with Digital Promotions for our merchandise store. A portion of the proceeds go to help Crossroads Missions, which helps those in need, specifically veterans and others who are looking for a housing. A little less privileged, yeah. Yes, they run amazing programs, and so we were happy and honored to be able to work with them. So don't forget to check in the description below for that. Also, we do have a Patreon page as well now. Yeah, Patreon is a uh, multi-tiered system where you have a little more access to us from behind the scenes footage, our recipes, uh, discount on merchandise. There's one level where you actually get a free apron uh, just for signing up at, at that level. So you can check in again. The uh, Patreon link is uh, below as well. I don't know if you guys caught during the uh, during the shoot, Kenzie was uh, helping film the other angle back there. Well, now she's off camera eating all of the fried pickles. So we better hurry up, but we this is another you can get on the merch store. <laughs> That's right. Tumblr. We are so grateful to our Patreons. Thank you guys so much for really encouraging us and promoting more and more of what we do. We can't do this without your support and all of you for just watching. So thank you so much. We love doing this and we want to continue to be able to do this. Absolutely. But Brett, aside from coming to make this amazing appetizer, the banger, fried pickles, banger of a nap. banger of a yes. nap, why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on. on.